हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी कंट्रोल सिस्टम इंजीनियरिंग प्लेलिस्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डूइंग वन एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन मैकेनिकल सिस्टम मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग ऑफ मैकेनिकल सिस्टम ऑन बेसिस ऑफ दिस टॉपिक वी आर डूइंग सम एग्जांपल इन लास्ट वीडियो द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इज गिविंग इन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो इट इज रिक्वेस्टेड टू प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो by clicking this link here example is obtain the force voltage analogy for the mechanical system shown in figure you can see here one mechanical system in which there are two mass m1 m2 damper b1 b2 b3 and spring k okay now force is applied to this mass 2 here okay so that our first step step number 1 step number 1 is to find out total number of nodes here there are two mass okay there are two mass okay so that number of nodes is equal to number of displacement is equal to number of mass masses okay there are two here there are two mass and displacement x1 and x2 okay now total nodes is equal to 2 plus 1 reference nodes so that our total node is 3 nodes okay that is our step number 1 now step number 2 in this step we are connecting all equipment with reference and you can write in this step number 2 okay this step is do your by self now step number 3 in this step we are creating one mathematical model of this given system first of all here there are two nodes x1 and x2 okay and one reference nodes so that total nodes is three node so i am drawing here that one is x1 and that one is x2 and one reference nodes okay just here one reference node right that is our reference node now you can see here mass m2 is connected with displacement x12 reference okay so that i am connecting this mass m2 from here to reference this one is m1 okay sorry that one is m2 okay this one is m2 similarly damper b2 is also connected with x12 reference so that i am connecting damper b2 to reference that one is b2 okay x12 to reference and b2 to reference now we are concern on nodes x2 you can see here m1 and b1 are connected with x2 to reference so that i am connecting mass m1 to reference and similarly damper b1 to reference okay now between x1 to x2 damper b3 and spring are connected in parallel so that damper b3 and spring are connected in parallel that one is b3 and this one is spring and force is applied to mass m2 so that that one is force f okay so this one is our mathematical modeling of this mechanical system now we are writing differential equation for this mathematical model okay just one minute
I am writing mathematical model for this mechanical system for that. This one is our mathematical model. Okay. This one is our force. Now it's time to writing mathematical equation for this system. You can see here at node x1 at node x1 equation is m2 d square x1 by dt square plus b2 dx1 by dt plus b3 d by dt x1 minus x2 plus spring k x1 minus x2 is equal to f incoming force is equal to outgoing force that is our equation number one at similarly at node x2 incoming force is zero and equation is m1 d square x2 by dt square here plus b1 this one is b1 the x2 by dt plus b3 d x2 minus x1 by dt plus k x2 minus x1 is equal to zero now by applying laplace transform this equation one and two you can see here the laplace equation for equation number one and two is three and four you can write this equation now we are using force to voltage analogy because our question is obtain force to voltage analogy for mechanical system so that we are using force to voltage analogy in force to voltage analogy mass convert to l b to r and k to one upon c displacement x1 of s is equal to q1 of s and x2 of s is equal to q2 of s okay in this equation we are replacing this parameter m to l b to r k to one upon c and x2 charge then you can obtain these two equation okay now we know that i1 is equal to the q1 by dt by applying laplace transform you can see here i1 of s is equal to s into q1 of s okay so that i am writing i1 of s is equal to s into q1 of s and i2 of s is equal to s q2 of s in force to voltage analogy i am placing this value i1 of s and i2 of s in this equation okay so that you can get final equation you can get this two final equation by replacing i1 of s is equal to s q1 of s and i2 of s is equal to s q2 of s you can write these two equation final equation now it's time to drawing electrical network by using force to voltage analogy so that in force to voltage analogy series connected series connection converted into parallel and parallel to series okay i'm just copying this our mathematical model here okay our mathematical model and we are converting this mathematical model into just a minute okay we are converting this mathematical model into electrical network so you can see here this m2 and damper b2 m2 l b2 r k2 1 upon c i'm just converting this mathematical model into electrical network m2 and b2 are connected in parallel will be converted into series so that i'm drawing this m2 converted into l2 and b2 converted into r and those are in parallel converted into series okay then f to v f converted into v this one is force it will be converted into voltage source plus minus and this one is r2 and this one is l2 both are connected in parallel which is conversion into series similarly these two parameter b3 and k 
are connected in parallel will be converted into series b3 converted into r3 and k converted into c so i'm just drawing here r3 and capacitor c this one is r3 and c okay now similar m1 and b1 are connected in parallel will be converted into series so that i am drawing here r1 and l1 this one is r1 and this one is l1 okay that is our complete electrical network by using force to voltage analogy here c is 1 upon c so i am just write here 1 upon k in bracket okay m2 this one is m2 r2 is b2 b1 m1 and r3 that is b3 okay that is our complete electrical network by using force to voltage analogy and our i1 of s and this one is i2 of s okay i hope you have to understand this example obtain the force voltage analogy for the mechanical system by using force voltage analogy our step number one is to find out nodes step two is connected all parameter to reference step three to drawing mechanical network and then writing equation for this network converted into laplace then by using force to voltage analogy convert m to l b to r k to one upon c x to charge and by placing i1 of s is equal to sq1 of s i2 of s is equal to sq2 of s and finally you get these two equation and lastly you can draw this electrical network okay thank you very much if you have any doubt then you can comment in comment section i will solve in next lecture thank you very much